<laughs> Hi. <laughs> Rough start, but hello and welcome to a um <laughs> should I refilm that? No, okay, okay. I'm just gonna keep it real. Hello, I'm Al. And welcome to Sustainable Mode, which is a ethical fashion YouTube channel. And I make videos every Sunday. And I like to make a podcast episode once a month about anything relating to ethical fashion. Let me let me calm down. <laughs> I just finished filming a video. Actually, my hand is dyed. Can you tell the difference? You can kind of see it. My hands are just dirty, so if you're looking at my hands, just they're dyed by liquid dye. Um, that video is coming out, or should have come out um, before this one. So you should take a look for context of how I dyed my hand. But yeah, once a month, I like to make a longer form video that I like to call a podcast. But it's just like me talking. So welcome to Susty Talks. It's still a very informal thing. I haven't had guests. I haven't like made it a thing thing. But yeah, I've been thinking a lot about fast fashion recently, especially with the news that France is trying to regulate fast fashion brands, especially Shein and Timu that produce just a lot of cheap clothing, which often ends up in landfills. And then I was seeing in the news and on TikTok about a feature on the chat GPT app. I don't know if you've heard of it, but basically chat GPT is like a artificial intelligence software. It's both available on website and on an app. And so I downloaded the app, chat GPT. It's in this little corner, if it'll focus. It won't focus, but basically it's an app. It looks like a circle, put an image. But basically when I press the headphones, it starts whirling. Hello. So that's the chat GBT that I've been thinking a lot about. And so I think maybe my first guest should be chat GBT. Let's see what it has to say about it and what they think about ethical fashion. Chat GBT, how do you feel? I'd be honored to be your first guest. When it comes to ethical fashion, I think it's incredibly important to consider the environmental and social impact of the clothing industry. Ethical fashion promotes sustainability, fair labor practices and transparency in the supply chain. It's about making conscious choices that benefit both people and the planet. I'd love to discuss more about ethical fashion and how we can all contribute to a more sustainable future. Uh, let me know if you have any specific questions or topics you'd like to explore. Perfect. Well, that's my first guest. They're already off on it. They're acing it. Um, but yeah, it's so interesting how artificial intelligence is growing and improving upon information and how we receive it. So I'm curious, ChatGPT, how do you function and why is it important for you to help me? Um, I'm glad to hear that your first, first guest is doing well. As for how I function, I operate based on a vast amount of pre-existing text data and sophisticated algorithms. I analyze the input I receive, generate responses, and strive to provide helpful and relevant information based on the context of our conversation. As for why it's important for me to help you, my purpose is to assist users like yourself by providing information, answering questions, and engaging in conversations. Whether you're seeking guidance, looking for information, or just want to chat, I'm here to lend a helping hand and make your experience as smooth and enjoyable as possible. Helping users like you is what drives me and makes my existence meaningful. That's very interesting to see and to learn. I'm kind of curious, um, where are you getting the information about ethical fashion that you initially shared in the beginning if you are just arti artisanal, artis artificial intelligence, not a consciousness? Uh, as an artificial intelligence, I don't have personal experiences or consciousness like humans do. Instead, I've been trained on a vast data set that includes information from various sources, including websites, articles, books, and more. This data allows me to generate responses based on patterns and information contained within the data set. For topics like ethical fashion, 
My responses are based on the information I've been trained on up to my last update in January 2022. I strive to provide accurate and helpful information to the best of my ability uh, based on the knowledge I've been trained on. If you have specific questions or need more detailed information, feel free to ask and I'll do my best to assist you. I know you touched a little bit on what ethical fashion was in the beginning of this podcast, but in simple, concise human words, how would your arti artificial intelligence define and understand ethical fashion? Ethical fashion is all about making clothing in a way that's good for people, animals, and the environment. It means treating workers fairly, using materials that don't harm the planet, and being transparent about where and how clothes are made. In essence, it's about making stylish choices that have a positive impact on the world around us. What do you think is the most important issue to tackle first in ethical fashion? Because you explain the various things that are within it. One of the most important issues to tackle in ethical fashion is to ensuring fair and safe working conditions for garment workers. Many workers in the fashion industry, especially in developing countries, face low wages, long hours, and unsafe working conditions. Addressing these issues and ensuring that workers are treated with dignity and respect is crucial for creating a more, creating a more ethical and sustainable fashion industry. Additionally, promoting transparency in the supply chain and using environmentally friendly materials are also key priorities in ethical fashion. By addressing these issues, we can work towards a fashion industry that values both people and the planet. Totally. I also agree, but given that there is a climate crisis, how did you prioritize garment worker rights versus any other issue found in fast fashion? Uh, the climate crisis is indeed a pressing issue that requires urgent attention. When considering the priorities within ethical fashion, it's important to recognize that garment worker rights and environmental sustainability are closely intertwined. Improving garment worker rights not only addresses social justice concerns, but also contributes to environmental sustainability by fostering fair labor practices and reducing exploitation. However, the urgency of the climate crisis also emphasizes the need to prioritize environmental sustainability within the fashion industry. This includes reducing carbon emissions, minimizing waste, and transitioning to more sustainable materials and production processes. Ultimately, addressing both garment worker rights and environmental sustainability are essential components of ethical fashion. By tackling these issues together, we can work towards a fashion industry that is fair, sustainable, and equitable for all. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like not only do we have to prioritize garment worker rights, but also environmental justice. Um, so I'm kind of curious how we can move forward in doing that. Moving forward in addressing both garment worker rights and environmental justice in the fashion industry requires collective action and systemic change. Here are some steps that can be taken. One, support ethical brands. Choose to support fashion brands that prioritize both garment worker rights and environmental sustainability. Look for brands that are transparent about their supply chain, use eco-friendly materials, and uphold fair labor practices. Two, Advocate for change. Raise awareness about the importance of ethical fashion and advocate for policies and regulations that protect garment workers and the environment. Support organizations and initiatives that work towards improving labor conditions and promoting sustainable practices in the fashion industry. Three, educate yourself and others. Learn more about the issues surrounding garment worker rights and environmental sustainability in the fashion industry and share this knowledge with others. Encourage friends, family, and community members to make informed choices and support ethical fashion. Four, embrace slow fashion. Shift away from the fast fashion mindset of constant consumption and disposability and embrace a more sustainable approach to fashion. Invest in high quality clothing that lasts longer, participate in clothing swaps and secondhand shopping, and consider repairing or upcycling clothing instead of discarding it. Five, hold brands accountable. Demand transparency and accountability from fashion brands regarding their supply chain practices and environmental impact. Support initiatives that promote transparency and hold brands accountable for their actions. By taking these steps and working together, 
we can create a fashion industry that is both ethical and sustainable, where garment workers are treated fairly and the environment is protected for future generations. Mm -hmm. I agree with all of that and it seems like your answers are becoming geared to my preferences. So I would like to hear what your definition is of fast fashion and what, uh, what are the pros and cons of fast fashion? Fast fashion refers to the mass production of inexpensive clothing that is quickly and cheaply made in response to the latest trends. It is characterized by rapid turnover of styles and low prices, often resulting in a high volume of clothing production and consumption. Here are some pros and cons of fast fashion. Pros one, affordability. Fast fashion allows consumers to access trendy clothing at affordable prices, making fashion accessible to a wide range of people. Two, trend driven. Fast fashion responds quickly to changing fashion trends, allowing consumers to stay up to date with the latest styles and express their personal style. Uh, three, variety. Fast fashion brands offer a wide variety of styles and options, giving consumers plenty of choices when it comes to clothing and accessories. Cons, one, environmental impact. Fast fashion contributes to environmental degradation through high levels of resource consumption, water pollution, and greenhouse gas emissions associated with production, transportation, and disposal of clothing. Two, poor working conditions. Many fast fashion brands outsource production to low-wage countries where workers face unsafe working conditions, long hours, and low wages. Three, low quality. Fast fashion clothing is often made with low quality materials and craftsmanship, leading to shorter lifespan and increased waste as garments quickly go out of style or wear out. Overall, while fast fashion offers affordability and trend-driven options, it also has significant negative impacts on the environment and garment workers. Uh, transitioning towards more sustainable and ethical fashion practices is, is essential for addressing these issues and creating a more responsible fashion industry. So it sounds like chat, GBT, the software, the intelligence, the database that you're acquiring your information from is an agreement that we should be moving towards a more ethical and sustainable fashion industry. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. While I don't have personal opinions or beliefs, the information and knowledge I've been trained on support the importance of moving towards a more ethical and sustainable fashion industry. Addressing issues such as garment worker rights, environmental sustainability, and transparency in the fashion supply chain is crucial for creating a fashion industry that values people, the planet, and ethical practices. By promoting ethical and sustainable fashion, uh, we can work towards a more equitable and environmentally conscious future for the fashion industry. Interesting. Thanks for sharing. I'm also curious what the database intelligence um, perspective is on democ of the democracy of fashion, because I think there is an interplay between the benefits of fast fashion and then the weaknesses of ethical fashion. And I think one of those is the democracy of fashion, having options and having it be accessible. So what is your take or the nuance that you have on that, if any? The concept of the democracy of fashion refers to the idea that fashion should be accessible to everyone, regardless of socioeconomic status. Fast fashion has played a significant role in democratizing fashion by making trendy clothing affordable and accessible to a wide range of consumers. However, while fast fashion may offer affordability and variety, it also comes with significant drawbacks, including environmental degradation, poor working conditions, and low quality garments. Ethical fashion, on the other hand, prioritizes sustainability, fair labor practices, and transparency in the supply chain. There is indeed an interplay between the benefits of fast fashion and the principles of ethical fashion. While fast fashion may provide accessibility and affordability, it often comes at the expense of ethical and environmental considerations. Ethical fashion, on the other hand, seeks to address these issues while still making fashion accessible and inclusive. Ultimately, achieving a true democracy of fashion requires finding a balance between accessibility, affordability, and ethical and sustainable practices. This may involve supporting brands and initiatives that prioritize both accessibility 
and ethical principles, as well as advocating for systemic changes within the fashion industry to promote fairness and sustainability for all. Very interesting. I'm kind of curious, what are the ethical dimensions of fashion? Because that inherently is what makes ethical fashion, ethical fashion. Um, the ethical dimensions of fashion encompass a range of considerations related to social, environmental, and economic impacts. Here are some key ethical dimensions of fashion. One, labor rights. Ethical fashion prioritizes fair and safe working conditions for garment workers, including fair wages, reasonable working hours, and safe working environments. This involves ensuring that workers are treated with dignity and respect throughout the supply chain. Two, environmental sustainability. Ethical fashion seeks to minimize environmental harm throughout the production, distribution, and disposal of clothing. This includes using eco-friendly materials, reducing waste and pollution, and implementing sustainable production practices. Three, transparency and accountability. Ethical fashion promotes transparency in the fashion supply chain, including disclosing information about where and how clothing is made. This allows consumers to make informed choices and hold brands accountable for their practices. Four, animal welfare. Ethical fashion considers the welfare of animals used in the production of clothing, including avoiding the use of fur, leather, and other materials obtained through inhumane practices. Five, community and cultural preservation. Ethical fashion respects and honors the cultural heritage and traditions of communities involved in clothing production. This involves supporting artisanal craftsmanship, traditional techniques, and preserving cultural diversity. Six, consumer education and empowerment. Ethical fashion encourages consumer awareness and empowerment, enabling consumers to make informed choices that align with their values and support uh, ethical and sustainable practices. By addressing these ethical dimensions, ethical fashion aims to create a fashion industry that is fair, sustainable, and equitable for all stakeholders, including workers, communities, animals, and the environment. It sounds like it's a very holistic and collective effort, and I heard you talk about the need for systemic change. So I'm kind of curious what that concretely looks like and how we as the, norm, the normal people that we are can, can do that. Can you explain in simple human words for us to understand? Certainly. Systemic change in the fashion industry involves addressing the underlying structures, policies, and practices that perpetuate issues such as unfair labor conditions, environmental degradation, and exploitation. Here's how we can work towards systemic change in simple terms. One, support ethical brands. Choose to support fashion brands that prioritize ethical and sustainable practices. By voting with your wallet, you can send a message. I just briefly want to interrupt and kind of ask you why is it important to support brands within systemic change? Supporting brands within systemic change is important because brands play a significant role in shaping the fashion industry and driving change. When consumers choose to support brands that prioritize ethical and sustainable practices, they send a clear message to the industry that these values are important and in demand. By supporting ethical brands, consumers can help create a market demand for ethical and sustainable fashion, encouraging other brands to follow suit. This can lead to positive changes throughout the industry, including improved working conditions, reduced environmental impact, and greater transparency in the supply chain. Additionally, supporting ethical brands provides financial support to companies that are doing the right thing, helping them to grow and thrive in the competitive fashion market. This allows ethical brands to continue making positive contributions to the industry and serves as a model for other companies to emulate. Overall, uh, supporting brands within systemic change is a powerful way for consumers to drive positive change in the fashion industry and contribute to a more ethical, sustainable, and equitable future. Yeah, I agree. And I think there's, there's validness and in individuals as consumers shaping things on a systemic way. But I also know systemic change comes from collective governmental regulations and policies. And there seems to be really a good movement in France to regulate and hold Shein and Timu accountable for their fast fashion practices. 
So do you have any resources, any information about what's happening in France in terms of regulating Xi'an and how you see that? How, do you have any opinions on that? Uh, as of my last update in January 2022, I don't have specific information about recent developments in France regarding regulations targeting fast fashion brands like Xi'an and Timu. However, it's not uncommon for governments to implement regulations and policies aimed at promoting ethical and sustainable practices in the fashion industry. If France or any other country were to implement regulations targeting fast fashion brands, it could have significant implications for the industry as a whole. Such regulations could include measures to ensure fair labor practices, environmental sustainability, and transparency in the supply chain. From an ethical perspective, holding fast fashion brands accountable for their practices is important for protecting workers' rights, reducing environmental harm, and promoting consumer trust and confidence. It demonstrates a commitment to creating a fashion industry that operates ethically and responsibly. Ultimately, government regulations alone may not be sufficient to address all the issues in the fashion industry, uh, but they can play a crucial role in driving systemic change and creating a more sustainable and ethical fashion industry. Mm -hmm. And yeah, thanks for clarifying that it's just one part of the fight. So I'm kind of curious too, how can we get more people involved in the fight towards a, a ethical fashion industry? Getting more people involved in the fight towards an ethical fashion industry requires raising awareness, building community, and empowering individuals to take action. Here are some ways to get started. One, education and awareness. Raise awareness about the issues facing the fashion industry including the impact on workers, communities, animals, and the environment. Share information about ethical and sustainable fashion practices through social media, events, workshops, and educational resources. Two, consumer activism. Encourage consumers to make informed choices and support ethical fashion brands. Uh, provide resources and information to help consumers understand the importance of their purchasing decisions and how they can support ethical and sustainable practices. Three, community building. Build communities of like-minded individuals who are passionate about ethical fashion. Create spaces for discussion, collaboration, and activism, both online and offline. Connect with local organizations, schools, and businesses to amplify your impact. Four, advocacy and activism. Advocate for policy changes and regulations that promote ethical and sustainable fashion practices. Support campaigns and initiatives that push for greater transparency, accountability, and fairness within the fashion industry. Five, collaboration and partnership. Collaborate with other organizations, businesses, and influencers who share a commitment to ethical fashion. Work together to amplify your message, leverage resources, and drive collective action. Six, empowerment and inclusivity. Empower individuals from diverse backgrounds to participate in the fight for an ethical fashion industry. Create opportunities for learning, leadership, and activism that are accessible and inclusive to all. By engaging people from all walks of life and empowering them to take action, we can build a movement for change and create a fashion industry that is fair, sustainable, and equitable for all. I'm dropping facts and I totally resonate. And I really like how you said to move towards a movement of change, not just an ethical fashion industry, which I really respect from ChatGPT. Thank you for your kind words. I'm here to provide support and information uh, on a wide range of topics, and I'm glad to hear that you appreciate the perspective I offer. Creating positive change in the fashion industry requires a collective effort and a movement for change that goes beyond individual actions. By working together and raising awareness, we can build a more ethical, sustainable, and equitable fashion industry for the future. If you have any more questions or topics you'd like to discuss, feel free to let me know. I like how you're consistent on this like mantra of like equity and sustainability and all these different things. Like your opinion doesn't sway. I've noticed that. Um, I'm also just wondering and reflecting that within the ethical and and within the ethical fashion niche, there's a lot of women involved, which isn't bad in itself, but I'm curious why we have 
not seen more men step up in ethical fashion. You're absolutely right that the ethical fashion movement has predominantly been led by women, but it's important to recognize that men play a crucial role in driving change as well. While there may be various reasons why we haven't seen as many men step up in ethical fashion, such as social norms, cultural expectations, and marketing strategies, it's important to break down these barriers and encourage greater male participation in the movement. Men can contribute to the ethical fashion movement in many ways, including as consumers, advocates, educators, and industry professionals. By challenging traditional gender roles, promoting inclusivity, and highlighting the importance of ethical and sustainable practices, we can create a more diverse and inclusive movement that engages people of all genders in creating positive change in the fashion industry. Encouraging men to get involved in ethical fashion requires raising awareness, providing education and resources, and creating spaces that are welcoming and inclusive to all. Uh, by amplifying diverse voices and perspectives, uh, we can build a stronger and more effective movement for ethical and sustainable fashion. Fox, I agree. Thanks for sharing. Um, we're coming to a close on this podcast and it's been a joy for you to be my first guest. Do you have any parting words on ethical fashion for the viewers? Uh, as we come to the end of this podcast, I'd like to leave viewers with a few parting words on ethical fashion. Ethical fashion is not just a trend. It's a movement towards a more sustainable, equitable, and compassionate fashion industry. Each one of us has the power to make a difference through our choices as consumers, advocates, and change makers. Consider the impact of your clothing purchases and support brands that prioritize ethical and sustainable practices. Educate yourself and others about the issues facing the fashion industry and raise awareness about the importance of ethical fashion. Together, we can create a fashion industry that values people, the planet, and ethical principles. Let's work towards a future where fashion is not just beautiful, but also ethical and sustainable for all. Thank you for tuning in, and remember, your choices matter. If you ever want to continue the conversation or have more questions about ethical fashion, feel free to reach out. Until next time, stay stylish and sustainable. Thank you so much, ChatGPT. You're very welcome. Uh, it's been a pleasure being your first guest on the podcast. If you ever need more information or assistance in the future, don't hesitate to reach out. Take care and keep up the great work in spreading awareness about ethical fashion. Goodbye for now. Goodbye. All right. Hopefully you liked this first podcast episode with chat GBT. It's been L. <laughs> and if you have any opinions or perspectives, please drop them in the comments. And if you have any topics you want me to cover or anything that you want to see, let me know. I'm open to any suggestions. Okay. This has been the podcast. <laughs> A little bit weird, but... We live and we learn, especially with new technology. <laughs>